Australia has been given a rare insight into the workings of the Jehovah's Witness Church. One of the leaders of its secretive governing body was questioned at the Royal Commission into Child Abuse. He's defended a policy where abuse victims, most often women, must prove their claims to a panel of men. He's a Jehovah's Witness world leader, one of seven men who consider themselves modern-day disciples. I'm sorry. Thank you. But today, Geoffrey Jackson was in Toowoomba Magistrates Court to face the New South Wales Royal Commission. Has the governing body considered uh, apologising to survivors of child sexual abuse? Uh, I haven't been in any discussions with regard to that. Mr Jackson acknowledged abuse problems within the church and repeatedly referred to his Bible. But in the commission hearing room, there's only one supreme authority, Justice Peter McClellan. And the exact quote is, whoever holds back his rod hates his son. What does that mean? The Commission has heard that thousands of sex abuse allegations have been covered up by the church, largely because of its beliefs that only men can sit in judgment and that the Bible requires two witnesses to every crime. The interpretation makes it hard for young victims to get justice. What does the church do to help that person or that family in those circumstances? We would let them know that they should go to the police. He was the final Jehovah's Witness to face the commission, which continues its inquiries. Sean Berry, 7 News.